Hey folks, it's Antar, and I'm back with a new PBR Wi-Fi battle. Uh, this battle is against the Pokemon Master 14, uh, who I've participated in two of his tournaments so far, and he's also my fellow uploader on Pokebox 5. And anyway, uh, we had a series of three battles. It's really tough for me because he doesn't uh, follow the Smog and Tier list, so trying to match up our teams, I've got two OU teams and one UU team, but he doesn't really believe in that stuff, so it's really hard to find figure out which team I should use against which of his teams. But so anyway, um, this is my OU singles team against uh, his uh, hail team, which is mostly UUs and NUs. Um, anyway, the one time I don't lead with Crobat, uh, he sends out a spiker, and I just... I see this and I'm like, oh my god, I cannot believe this. Anyway, he managed to get up three layers of spikes thanks to... Um, Thanks to his Custap Berry, which, by the way, good choice for a uh, for a lead cloister. Anyway, I do manage to take him out as a three hit KO, or sorry, a two hit KO with Grass Knot. Um, well, and I did set up Stealth Rock, so it's not the worst situation in the world. But I'm not going to be doing as much switching as I usually do because every time I switch into ground Pokemon, it's going to take massive damage from those three layers of spikes. Anyway, I have no idea why he switched out Lapras with the Stealth Rock. That's almost a one hit KO. Um, Lapras hits back with a Thunderbolt, but uh, Tux, my Empoleon, is pretty darn bulky, so it survives, and I'm pretty sure what that does is it brings me down into Torrent range. Um, anyway, the Life Orb damage uh, from his attack is enough to take him out, and so now I'm up uh, to Zip. So, um, next out for him is Obama Snow, Obama Snow. Um, yeah, one of the few Obama Snows I've seen that's not nicknamed Obama Snow. And that, he whips up a Hailstorm. You know, it is a Hail Team after all. Um, so that's not going to be good for me what, with all the residual damage going on. And this is a Protect Staller, so I'm just, I'm not switching him out because at this point I'm at low enough HP that I'm pretty sure the spikes will kill me. Um, so I go ahead and Hydro Pump him, and I'm just going to hit him with maximum amount of damage until he kills me. But so, yeah, so you see here, I think he the hail just knocked me into torrent range so he would have been better off attacking this turn and KOing me rather than protecting I think but anyway I do go ahead and hydro pump and it does a massive amount of damage but it isn't enough to KO considering that he resists my attack Obama Snow goes ahead and uses Shadow Ball, which is not enough to KO. I think he said later on that that was a misclick, which makes sense. Um, but so yeah, he's going to keep Protect Stalling me, hoping that the um, hail is going to be enough to take me out. But all it's doing is, you know, I'm down to one, uh, I'm down to 15 HP. One attack from him will kill me. Uh, he would have been better off just attacking, I think. But I go ahead and Hydro Pump. Not quite enough to take him out. I'm a little disappointed on that. I think it was a... Well, okay, the Protect Stalling is what did it, so I was full of BS when I said that the Protect Stalling wasn't a good strategy because it allowed him to recover enough um, HP with life to, uh, leftovers that he was able to survive two Hydro Pumps. So, that is what it is. My Tux is taken out, um, and I consider who to send out. And I've just got so many options. I have Fupa Loop for a Priority Ice Shard, which will kill. I have Jirachi for Iron Head, which will kill pretty much everyone on his team. I've got Stella, who can use Brave Bird, which is super effective. And then I've got Pazuzu, my uh, Zapdos, who can hit him with a Heat Wave and hit pretty much all of his guys for super effective damage. Um, so I go ahead and send out Zapdos, and he goes ahead and Protect Stalls me, which is going to recover a bit of HP for him, but I don't think it's going to be enough that he'll be able to survive Discharge. He can go ahead and use um, use Protect on the next turn, trying to get the... the I, I consider it hacks, getting two Protects on a row. Um, but that's pretty much all he can do, because it's not gonna... You know, I've got leftovers, so I can wait him out. Um, yeah, I get a useless crit there, and it's enough to take him out. Um, so now uh, I've KO'd three of his Pokémon, and he's only KO'd one of mine. Um, so yeah, I mean... OU versus UU and NU. I guess he's got some borderlines there. Anyway, he sends out Glaceon, which I think is an odd choice, and I'm thinking it might be Scarf, because that's the only chance that um, he's got against my Zapdos. But I decide I'm going to stay in just in case. Um, I've got plenty of other Pokemon left. Um, and indeed, he hits me with a super effective Blizzard. The truth is, none of my Pokemon would have enjoyed taking a super effective Blizzard. Except maybe Jirachi. I think Jirachi would have been okay with it, and that is who I send out next. Um, but I didn't want to risk it, especially with the spikes on the ground. Um, but so he goes ahead and calls back his Glaceon, knowing that I'm going to hit him either with a Fire Punch or an Iron Head, either of which will be a super effective hit. So he's going to try to take, uh, you know, he's going to switch in Dugong, which will not resist either attack, but it will at least take it for neutral damage. 
Um, unfortunately, he probably would have been better off foddering Glaceon, um, because I'm, uh, that's gonna be an easy two-hit KO for me. I did use Iron Head for the, um, maximum amount of damage, and considering that no one on his team who's left resists it. In fact, I don't think anyone resisted it to begin with, since they're all at least partially Ice-type. So I take down his Dugong, and this is going pretty well. Um, next after him is Glalie, um, which I figure he's probably going to explode if I don't take him out. But then again, I'm Steel-type, I'm not really afraid of an explosion. But also, Iron Head is a super effective hit. Glalie does not have the best of defenses, if I recall correctly, and I am able to Oko it after Stealth Rock damage. So that's pretty sweet. Um, so he sends out now Glaceon, which is his last Pokemon. Um, so nothing he can do here. I'm going to outspeed him since I do have the Choice Scarf, and that is good game. Um, so there are two other battles that I had with the Pokemon Master 14. One is up right now on uh, Pokebox 5, and the other, um, the Pokemon Master 14 will be uploading, and I'll be uploading uh, in the weeks to come. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Check out Pokebox 5, and comment and rate and subscribe. And challenge if you want. But yeah, uh, so long folks. Uh, take it easy.